six years ago, I pivoted away from using a Jack Bauer bag towards this Maxpedition Kodiak Gear Slinger. Was it the right call? You're about to find out. What's up everybody, Benoit here. Welcome to Tactical Fellowship. The purpose of today's video is to explain to you my experience with the Kodiak Gear Slinger bag. I've been using it for the last six years, so is it glorious or god awful? Well, I have some observations that I would like to share with you. I got the bigger of the two options. The reason why I got the bag is because I was looking for a suitable option for off body carry due to the employment I had at the time as a youth pastor when I would have kids randomly coming up to me, having a gun on my hip. I didn't want them bumping into it. So I wanna show you a little bit of what I'm doing or have done to maximize this bag should you decide to pull the trigger on it yourself. Let's dive into it by addressing two options with this bag that I really like. It's the protection ability and the armor ability. The compartment for your CCW weapon is kind of nice and I felt like it was more subtle than most bags. So it's actually on the back here. There's a whole slew of zippers, but the zipper you want for the concealability department is back here. It's the final one and I like this. And so if you unzip this, you can see in here, I've got my stuff. It's in a holster that is Velcroed using a Maxpedition Velcro backer in this video here. What I also like is when this zipper is down here, there's this flap that will fold over and you won't even see the zippers at all. And so that is really nice and convenient for keeping it even more discreet. This also brings up the first failure point of the bag is that this uh, handle zipper here has broken off. And that's important because I kept this lock through the pull tab metal hinges. And it is one of these hinges that gave up so I can no longer use this lock on there. Reached out to Maxpedition, they will replace that for 25 bucks. That includes the shipping and all the work. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do that actually quite yet. So anyways, that's that compartment. And then the other one is right here. And this one is containing my armor plate. This is a level three plus plus plate. The main compartment's massive. I love it. It's where I keep not only my armor, but my laptop, my binders, folders. This has ample space for it. Speaking of space, this top pouch here is just awesome. It's large. It's where I keep all my power adapters, notepads, my pens, all my cables. Everything gets thrown in there and the size makes it really nice. Below that, this there's kind of two pouches I use a ton here. It's this one right here. This one houses my books, my notepad, smaller of nature that will be kind of like my Bible and all that. That's daily stuff right there. This front one is where I keep my headphones, big dorky ones I, that kind of fold up. You can also see here the second failure point I've had is this right here. This broke in a car door to Taco Bell. You have also broken something in your car door, maybe even broken your car door. That always happens to things like this. And so it's happened another bag. So that's a real bummer because this was kind of nice to be able to bring this little top thing over, go like this. It still works. And I often will put my rain jacket or a hoodie or a sweater that I'm no longer wearing. I don't want to keep around. I'll, I'll throw that in there and cinch it down. And that works really nice for that. I have a carabiner on here for no purpose at all because you never know when you're going to need a carabiner. Nice water bottle compartment on the side. This will fit your big 32 ounce nail jeans. I have a hydro flask in here. It stays in with a little cinching around here. Has my water bottle ever fallen out of this? Of course it has. You can see a little bit of the uh, Velcro is uh, fraying on the top here. Uh, that doesn't bug me at all. It's It's been used for six years every single day in and out of my car and in and out of my offices. Additional thought is, um, let's say you're at a coffee shop, your mind is focused on what you're doing, not your bag. I put a little Maxpedition thing here that locks so you can lock it around the leg of a uh, table. When I was working at the church, we had bleachers in the gym where I did my service. And so I'd lock this around one of the metal things in the, of the bleachers. It's kind of like a bike lock for your bag. After six years of use too, I'm pleased with the padding. Not as robust as it used to be, but nor is it uncomfortable. This up here, these little things have been great because I spent a season working at a camp ministry and I actually would regularly pop a walkie talkie onto this. And I accidentally bought a left hand bag. I don't know why, and it has not mattered to me one bit. I have the pull tab over here. There's a side. I'm going to get up and show you this. So when I pull, I'm grabbing this thing right here, pulling it across, and now it's in front of my body. What's also nice now too is since I mount my gun high, I can pull the strap here and now I can access whatever I need to. So that is pretty dope. Left-handed bag on a right-handed guy has not seemed to matter too much to me. So to conclude, is the Kodiak Gear Slinger a good bag? Well, I am still using it after six years. 
it still functions and it still has all the form that I need. I think it's gonna be a nice bag for you. It does look kind of tactical, but well, I'm tactical fellowship and so I suppose that kind of works. What do I not like about the bag? I don't really have anything that I don't like about the bag. All right guys, maybe you're looking for a bag today. Maybe you bumped into this video. Kodiak Gear Slinger, suitable bag for you. My guys, my gals, that is all I got. So you be kind to each other, be awesome, be glorious, tell the truth, ride fast, you straight, and we'll see you next time. Not so fast I see you trying to leave that video, but you need to hit that subscribe button. You need to hit that subscribe button, and then you need to click on that link above to see those awesome t-shirts that are up there. You need a t-shirt because it's summer wherever you are, or will be summer sometime soon.